Hey folks, it's Dave back here, and I just played the game between Boston and California in my 1970-71 shootout hockey replay, and now I'm going to put the stats into the Stratomatic Utility Program, and I've talked about that a few times, and I've done a couple of videos on that, but I want to get an actual video of me putting in the stats for this season so you can see how I do it. So let's get right down to the stat program here. Okay, so as you can see, this is uh, the Stratomatic Hockey Utility Program. Over here on the right is the box score that was created with the Shootout PC Program, Shootout Helper Game, or whatever you want to call it. So first thing I'm going to do is open up my league, and it's 70 Shootout. So now if I want to just kind of show you the statistics here. So this is uh, what I've done so far as far as the games. But how you put in the game is you go to game, play a league game. So this is the game right here. So this was 10, 16, 19, 70, the only game on the schedule. That's the one I just played this morning live on my channel. So you're going to hit next. So as we talked about here, you can only have 18 skaters dressed. Luckily for the Bruins, they only had 18 skaters in their cards. So you can see that little 18 there and two goalies. So when I do the Bruins, it's easy. I don't got to do any muss or fuss with that. But if I go to California, though, you can see if I select this all, I get 20 skaters and three goalies. So now I got to cut out a couple of players and figure out which goalies we're going to be in that day. So we already determined that Gary Smith was one of the goalies. So Smith will play. And I already had Snedden play in one of the games. So it's going to be Chris Worthy is going to be the odd man out for goaltenders in this game for me. Okay, now if I come over to here. Now I look at my seals, and what I like to do is start at the bottom. And these are kind of the bench guys, the fringe guys. Or maybe go with someone that um, is, was on different teams. Like I know Howell was on a different team. And uh, uh, I think uh, Hampson was on a different team. But the, the key is here, I got to I gotta take two guys off of the SEALs roster here to get it down to 18. And I want to make sure that it's nobody with any stats. So I'm going to take off Howell and Roberts. So we'll take Howell off. And we're going to take Roberts off. Okay. And that'll get me to the 18. Now, since they didn't have any points, it's not going to affect my box score at all. It may uh, affect games played, but I'm really not too concerned about that because I'm mixing and matching two different hockey programs. So that's not going to come out exact anyway. So I make sure that Roberts has no penalties or points. I make sure that Howell has no penalties or points. I can take them off. Now I have all 18. So now I go next. So now... Now I'm at my scoring thing here. Now this is where you would actually play the game. If you went to the board, you could actually play the game if you were playing strat. But I'm going to input stats manually, and that's what this utility allows you to do, which is really neat. So keep it on first period. So we're going to go back to my box score over here on the right. And it's kind of a light box score, actually, so it shouldn't be too difficult. So we're going to start in the first period. So first things first, we get the first goal. So that's California. So I go to the home. It was uh, O'Donohue that got the goal. So I hit O'Donohue with the goal. And now I look, and it was uh, unassisted, even strength. So there's no assist, so we just hit save. And right off the bat, we have a goal here for the Seals. Now if I go to my scoreboard, you can see that it put one here, so it's one nothing California. Uh, penalty. So the only penalty was Ted Green. So I go to my visitors. I go to Teddy Green, and I hit penalty. And it's two minutes, and the opponent does get a power play, and I will save that. The only time I might change this, obviously there's a fight coming up, and we'll uh, show you what the fight looks like when we input that. Uh, but w once in a while, with shootout hockey, you get a lot of penalties in a period. You might get six or eight penalties for one team in a period, and then maybe five or six penalties for the other team. What I'll do once in a while to try to keep the power play percentages for that game in check is I'll uncheck this opponent gets power play for one from each team so that was kind of like coincidental minors maybe that's not the proper way to do it and it might mess up your season power play stats but for me when i see a ton of penalties in one game i gotta figure that some of them must have been matching so that's what i tend to do but in this case here teddy green gets two minutes and that's it so the first period was one goal and one penalty and that was it so now we go over here to the second period so we got a couple of goals by boston so we go to the visitor so it was uh, esposito so Esposito with the goal, and that was a power play goal from Cashman. And we save. And again, the key is with, with this here is that if you make a mistake, you can't fix it. So make sure it's right. The only thing you can do is you come out, you can just X out of this. So if you X out of this, it just erases it, and none of the stats are put in, and you can start over. Um, so it, that's the only way that you can 
get around a mistake is just to start fresh. But I can't go back and fix anything that I've done. It's a very unforgiving utility, so you really got to pay attention to what you do. And just it's not hard. It's just paying attention to detail, but you can't fix anything. So all I can do is if I screwed up, like once in a while I've hit something over here, went, oh, screwed up. So I got to X out and start all over again. Um, but so, but you know, and once you go over here to end game and you hit end game, and I'm not even going to hover over it so I don't screw it up. Once you hit end game, you're done, done. And if it's screwed up, that's too bad. Your, your season screwed up. So again, take your time with this and you'll be fine. So as you can see, it's one to one now with Esposito with the goal. Now, Teddy Green got a goal. So I'm going to go over here to Teddy Green. He got a goal. It's even strength. So that's from Walton and Ace Bailey. Okay. And so now it's two to one. So we got two to one score. Now we got to go to my penalties. So I'm going to go to home penalties. So I have Dennis Hextall, two minutes. Hickey, Ernie. So he got a charging for two minutes. And then later on in the period, he got four minutes for roughing. And I just changed that to four minutes and I saved. So that's the second period. So I can check my summary out. And it shows me here I got the California goal in the first. Uh, two for Boston, and then I got my my uh, my four penalties here. So I got one for Teddy Green, and then over here I got three for California. So now I'm ready to go to the third period. Now these these are optional here. These period things are optional. If you don't care about uh, seeing the box score and you're just looking for stats, you don't you can just leave it as first period if you want. I like to have everything in order. That's just me. I'm just a perfectionist, so I tend to go period by period. But you don't have to. Uh, is again, it's more just window dressing, but it does when it comes up, it'll show you how many goals they got in each period. That's kind of neat to look. So I, I like to get everything in as accurate as possible. All right. So now third period. Now I got a goal by Boston. So let me scroll up here. So I got a goal by Wayne Cashman. So Cashman with a goal. And again, if I, if you messed up here, you can always hit cancel here and the goal won't register. So there is a little safety there, but, uh, so Cashman with a goal. And it was from Ari and Hodge on the power play. So on the power play from Don Ari and Ken Hodge. All right, cash on the power play. And then I got a goal by McKenzie. So Boston goal by McKenzie. So he scored. And that was uh, even strength from Johnny Music and Freddie Stanfield. And save. So now this was the game winner. As you can see, I added the game winner over here. Uh, I did that in the shootout helper, so you can do that right in there. So that just reminds me to check this box right here for game-winning goal. Uh, if the, if it's a tie game, then whoever scored the last goal would get the game tying goal. And I want to keep track of that. So that's one thing I did screw up when I put in the stats. I had to go back and, and re-input a handful of games to put that in. Um, but that, I do this to remind me game-winning goal over here. So now, if I look at the scoreboard now, it should be 4-1 uh, to one Boston. So now we got a couple goals by the Seals here, right? So we have uh, Hickey, and that's Bill. So Bill Hickey with a goal from Ted Hampson, and that's even strength. And then I got a goal from Vadnais. From Gary Crow to even strength. So now... It's a four to three game. There are my seven goals. And there was an empty net goal here by Westfault at the end. So I'm going to go to Westfault. It's going to be uh, a goal for Boston. It's from Sanderson and Wayne Carlton. And I'm going to check off empty net goal. So I got a normal goal, empty net, Sanderson, Westfall from Sanderson and Carlton, save. Okay, so now that should be my final score, five to three. So all the goals are in. So I got some penalties. So I got to go. Amon is here. Jerry Amon. Oh, I, I spelled his name wrong, so I got to fix that. Jerry Amon. So he gets a penalty for interference. Two minutes. Yep. And now I got a fight. So I get Don Ari. Click here. There's no power play on a fight. Pumped it up to five minutes. So Don Ari, five minutes for fighting. And then I got Dennis Hextall. He also got a fight. No power play. One, two, three, four, five. So there's that. So now if I go to my summary, I got my eight goals. Okay. I got my all my penalties logged in. So now I got to do the goalies. So I scroll down here, and I see it's Cheevers and Net. 
Cheevers played 60 minutes. Cheevers saw 32 shots. He gave up three goals, and he gets the win. Over here, it was Gary Smith in net. Now, he played 59 minutes because we pulled the goalie. He saw 31 shots. He got he gave up four goals. There was one open netter, and he picks up the loss. So I should be done, but what I like to do is give it one last check. Again, once you hit end, you're done. So the scoreboard is 5-3 to three Boston. That's important. The visiting team, I like to see you make sure I get the game-winning goal. So that should have been McKenzie. So if I click on McKenzie, it shows you his stats. So he's got a goal. And he's got the game-winning goal. Achievers was in net for all 60 minutes. He saw 32 shots. He gave it three goals. He gets the win. Okay, there was no shutout, so don't worry about it. The home team, Gary Smith was in net, 59 minutes, 31 shots, four goals against. The one empty netter, and he gets the loss. I should be good to go. Okay, everything should be done. The game should end, so I'm going to export the game results because that'll give me a, a, a box score for the game. So in case something happens, I you know, and this thing crashes, I still have the game saved, so I can just import it back in uh, into the program. So it's just it's just another layer of backup. So end game save stats. Again, once you hit this, it's done. So that's why again, this warning: all the stats here are not updated. Please make sure that the goalie stats have been manually entered, and that you want credit for the game winning goal. The game tying goals must be manually entered. So. Yes, it gives you a little warning here. So I, I've double-checked my work. I, I think everything is correct. I hit end game and save the results. So it's going to export the game. So I'm going to call this California 1 because that's their first home game. So it's going to export the results. It's going to recalculate my totals, and that's that. So if I go to my statistics now, I go to my standings, it's going to show me Boston's 3-0 and and California's 0-3. And, and if I go to my team stats and I go to Boston, Okay, we go to my games. Now you can see this is in there. A 5-3 to three win over the Seals. Show that Busick now leads with 8 points. Here's my goalies. Chivas played all 3 games. He's 3-0. and oh. And just some of my team stats. And again, this is where it shows you the... the ignore the shots because I'm not... Uh, uh, actually, I am doing shots a little bit. Kind of, sort of. Um, uh, no, the shots won't register by team. Okay, because um, I'm not keeping... It'll keep track for the goalie shots but I won't keep track of the team shots because, again, I'm using shootout. So goals by period is kind of neat to look at. See how they're exactly the same, 15 and 8. So it's only it's only registering team shots um, for goals. But if I go to the goalies, you can see that the um, the shots on goal for the goalies, uh, he's seen 87 shots. So it's correct on the goalies, not correct with the team. Not a big deal for me. I'm not too concerned with team shots. I'm just looking for goalie shot, shots. Go to the Seals. And here we are with the Seals. You see, Vadney had a goal in that game. He now has two points. You look at the goalies. Smith is 0-2. Snedden's 0-1. Uh, Smith, actually, Smith has two empty net goals against them. It's too bad. And then the games, again, they lost 5-3 to to the Red Wings, 5-3 to to the Bruins, and they got blown out by the Blackhawks. And again, we take a look at our team stats. It shows uh, goals by period. So the second period is pretty bad for them, and the third period is too. They give up a lot of goals in each period. But it shows the power play attempts. Short-handed power play goals. It gives you percentages. It's really kind of fun. It really it kind of gives you a little overall view of everything there. So anyway, so let me head back to the uh, the screen here. So that's how I input the games into the Strat Utility with my shootout season. A little clunky, but once you get the hang of it, it, it does work out pretty well. And um, it works for me until I find something better. That's how I'm going to do it. And so... Um, yeah, that's that. So I'm Dave, enjoying my hockey binge here again here on the channel, and I'll talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.